Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Tati. Hi everyone! Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tati. So today's video, uh, I'm gonna be making some seatbelt covers. Um, every time that I drive, it, it scratch my neck. I don't know because I'm 5'2", I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but it does scratch me all the time, so it's, it is bother me, it, it does bother me. So I'm going to be making some seat belt cover, uh, I have this fabric, 100% cotton, okay, so I like the print, um, plus my car is gray, so it matches perfectly. So, and I'm going to be using fleece, uh, other people use a different material. But I'm going to be using what I have available at home. So, okay, so this is a piece of fleece. And the measurement that I'm going to be cutting is um, 13 by 6 and a half. Okay, so I already cut the fleece. I'm going to cut uh, 13 by 6 and a half um, the fabric. Okay. So this fabric you need to cut two, okay? So let's cut another one. I'm gonna use this. So I cut two, okay, and I have the fleece. That's what we're gonna be working on, okay? All right. All right. Let's put that away. All right. So, all right. So what you're gonna do? Let me flip a little bit so you can see. That's better. All right. So, this is the right side. So, it's going to be facing you, okay? You're going to add the second fabric facing down. So, right, tie, um, right side, they're facing together, okay? All right, so that's that. In, okay? So, remember the right side touching each other okay facing together and you're gonna add the fleece on top okay you're gonna put it very nice and you're gonna sew you're gonna leave two at least two inch um opening and you're gonna sew all the way around so that's what i'm, I'm gonna be doing right now okay to always um I'm sorry remember to leave at least two inch okay because that's where you're gonna flip out the um, you know you're gonna twist um, the cover inside out okay all right let's do that okay so I did so all the way around except the two inch okay and you're gonna cut the excess fabric like I have over here excess so just gonna cut it uh, don't cut so near of the seam okay okay that's good and I'm gonna be cutting the corners okay as you can see so when you uh, you turn it inside out it's not so bulky the corners So you're gonna flip it inside out, but you're gonna 
flip it from the two fabric in the middle not on from this one okay because then the flea is gonna be outside so you don't want that you want the two fabric to see front and back and that opening the two inch always backstitch okay so when you do this uh they're not gonna open um the area okay so <laughs> I have my window open and you can hear all the cars. Okay, I have these tools. very careful careful okay for some reason at the corner I always kind of like backstitch um, so when I do this it's not gonna open the corners um, I'm just I don't know I'm just so I want everything perfect <laughs> I used to do this before and I don't know because if I do it like very hard it, this go come out so now every corner I just backstitch. <laughs> so, but that's something I do. So, okay. Let's see. Oh, making sure the corners. If you don't have this, you can use uh, a pen or, you know. So you can see all right so you can press it if you want um, I'm not gonna do it it's very straight enough so what I'm gonna do next is get this open it I'm gonna close it you're gonna flip like that you can like I said you can use the press uh, you press it so make it easy for you uh, I'm gonna sew all the way around all around all, all around <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be the next step. Okay, I did so all the way around. You can see over here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be using Velcro. Okay, I'm gonna use the black one because the first one that I did, um, I didn't black one. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna measure it. Um, So it's about this one is about 11 and a half 11 and a half so what I like to do okay so I lay it flat right there it will help me where to put the velcro so I don't put in the wrong side <laughs> I did that one time okay so <laughs> all right so it's gonna you're gonna flip this one so it will give you an idea see I was gonna put it in the wrong side all right so right there okay I'm gonna use my clips right in the middle okay so that's a move you don't have clips you can use you know the pen This is very handy, I'm telling you, I use it so much. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay. Alright, so the other one is kind of like moving. Let me put one. So the other one, I have to put it right here because when you flip it, they're going to touch each other. Okay? So that's why I fold this one. So it will 
tell you, you know what I mean, to put the Velcro on this side instead of this side, okay? So, right there, and now the one will be on this one, so when put it together, they close, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna, right in the middle. Okay, all right. So now the next step is I'm gonna sew the velcro. Oh, I'm gonna open this. Okay, <laughs> don't sew it all the way. Um, so I'm gonna sew all around the velcro. Okay, on both sides. All right, all right. Let's do it. Okay, Ta -da! okay. I already saw it. So pretty. So this is how it looks like, right? Okay, just gonna flip this out and then okay, it's gonna look like that. And a seatbelt cover. Ah, I like it, I really like it. So, let me show you um, my seatbelt so you can have an idea. You can look how it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in my car. This is the seatbelt. Okay, so it's kind of like, uh, okay, so this one's gonna be um, on your chest. So you want, there you go. Okay, so just gonna like put it together. And that's it. See? I really like it. Look, very easy. Okay. And you can take it out. You can do some more different design. Okay. It's not going to scratch me anymore. Okay. As you can see over here, that's why I like it longer. Like, this is 13 inch. Um, and it's perfect, you know. Let's see. You can make it more longer if you want. So that's for now. I like it like that. So hopefully you like it. Uh, give it a thumbs up to my video. Subscribe to my channel. And see you next time.